It's 3.42. You're listening to Nikki Bailey on the BBC Asian Network. Big is beautiful, is it? Uh, that's what my next guest is trying to prove to the British fashion industry. Documentary on Channel 4 tonight, which I had a sneaky peek of last night, watched the whole thing, uh, follows the journey of Charlotte Coyle. Charlotte joins me now. Charlotte, welcome to the show. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I love your accent. And, and I spent I spent about 10 minutes after watching your show trying to say now like the way no. you do. <laughs> no, I love it. I love oh it. Oh, my God. That's so funny. It's an I... excellent accent, and we should hear more of your accent. Oh, thank you so much. Now, thank you. Charlotte, you are, you are an incredibly beautiful woman, and you are, oh, thank you're, you. you're a model yourself. But then these women had to be what size to enter the actual competition? Well, basically, I wanted women to be over a size 16, because I guess if a girl is at a size 12 or 14 wants the contest, then it's really made no difference. Exactly. So that's why I give, you know, larger ladies the opportunity to shine through and just show the world how absolutely gorgeous they are. Now, there's a great bit. I don't want to spoil this, because I think people uh -huh. should tune in tonight, but there is a great bit when your assistant has a little bit of a, a squabble with you about selecting somebody who exactly. was under... Yeah, but we won't, we won't spoil that. But uh -huh. how did you actually select the models it wasn't just on size and you had so many of them to, know, to see didn't you it was really on sparkle and confidence and how the women felt about themselves there was one woman that tried out i swear she was six foot tall on a size 14 and i asked <laughs> her i said you know how do you feel you know how do you feel about your body and she's like i just feel really fat and ugly and i was like oh my god why are you even here if you feel it that way so i chose the woman that were the most confident and comfortable and beautiful within themselves. But it's very interesting because even though they may have showed some confidence at the beginning, they uh -huh. all had slight crises as you were training them to walk. You took them away for a weekend. Uh -huh. Now, what has happened to all these people since you filmed this? Well, I have been kept in contact with most of the girls and the empowerment that they have. There's one girl in particular who was really low in self-esteem, like had a terrible breakdown, you know, on the show. Yeah. And now I seen her yesterday, completely different person, shining, glowing. All the girls feel great, and the, you know, they were just so grateful and thankful to be in it and make the statement for all their women out there that don't have a voice. Do you think skinny women are attractive? Personally, I don't. Right. I don't think it's attractive, you know, I, th I think curves are a much nicer thing, but then I don't want to put anyone else down, you know, from one extreme to another, but I definitely, I think curves are so much more feminine. I wanted to empower women and inspire women and show, people presume that if you're over a size, what, 12, that you're not attractive and you're not beautiful and you can't be happy, and it's not true, it's so not true, it's just larger women are never portrayed in a truly positive way. I, I kept thinking when I saw these women of putting Nicole Richie or Posh Spice next to any I of know. them and and wouldn't those women look ill, those thin women? They would look oh, positively definitely. ill. So definitely I think scary. I think you've done a really, really good thing in putting oh, this on. thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Charlotte Coyle. Um, I really enjoyed the show. It's on at 9 o'clock for everybody else tonight on Channel 4.